Inbound, land of Nada. A shade before two. Fred and uh, the Mumbles man have been down there about an hour. Stand by, somebody's called me. I don't know where we left off at, but we got about four miles to go. I just passed Beaver. You can see him in my rear view mirror there, Doc Beaver. He's going to put in north of us and work south. We'll see how that goes too. There'll be some reports. And like I said, Denny and uh, Fred, they dug a lot of stuff yesterday, but no yellow. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. Surf Church Sunday. The land of not. I wonder what this is. Got antique tags on it. Anybody know? I don't see. I see it's got a sign with a ticket on the back there, but I can't make out what it is. Hold on a minute. I got my uh, Farmer John on today in flip flops. It's not really cold, except when it gets a little dark in, in the shade. The motels here block the sun out. Water's not too bad. I just don't like getting cold anymore. Stand by. This is 16th Street where I am. I think Denny and Fred put in right there just by the pier. Of course, that's 15th. I don't see, because uh, I got to get over the hump here before I see anybody. Stand by. It's a nice day, I can tell you that. The tire's not low for about two hours. That'll be just the edge of dark. Well, I don't see them any place. I see somebody that could be them down there a couple of five or four or five blocks to the south. So that's the way I'm going to go. I don't know. I take that back. I see them. I see our, a fresh orange hat. They're right there. They're about four blocks north of me. Stand by. We're going that way. First target's 25 meter cent. That ain't bad. I like that. Start off with a quarter. Number three is like a hummingbird. Some damn thing. Not a bling thing. Where the hell did that come from? 10 gauge. That's Mr. Fred, we see how he's making out. How you making out in the land of Nada today? Land of Nada is produced Nada. Huh? Nada. 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 How about the Mumbles Man? Mumbles Man? Oh, man. Huh? You'll need to talk to Mumbles. He give us the Mumbles again? Well, I don't want to spoil his, his uh, boasting. <laughs> God knows. He'll put it on you, boy. I got a couple stud earrings and a shotgun shell and some quarters, but nothing spectacular. No, no, nothing spectacular. She called two dimes, maybe two pennies. Well, let's wander down that way. This is what the mumble man is going to do to us. <laughs> Fred says he's going to mumble's man is going to give us some mumbles again, bad, big time. The mumbles man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like the Mumbles Man before. Stay by. Max! Fred says you're going to give me the Mumbles. <laughs> it won't be the first time. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's a little oh stuff. <laughs> That's the biggest chain I've ever seen. <laughs> it's about a quarter inch wide. I don't know if it's real or not, but if it's real. It's 14K, so Fred says it says 14K on the thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see 14K right now. 
Good. Booga booga. <laughs> That's like a choker necklace, ain't it? Or something? Yeah. Fast Eddie's up there. I saw him. I figured that was who that was in the war. Fast man? Yeah, fast man. Yeah, he's, uh, I talked to him. When he didn't have nothing. We didn't have nothing. And he turned around. I kept going. And I hit it. Then I. Uh, so we're going to turn around with the mumbles and go back this way. That other guy I saw off in the water was a fast man. You know, faster than a speeding bullet. He didn't have anything today, Danny said. But young yet. Today is young. You know, here's the roundup. Ain't much to it. See you tomorrow, I suspect. Land of Nala.